Hello everyone, this is DK from Academy. This video is about metric and the metric spaces. Because metric space is one of the most important pillar in the study of the function analysis. So heading toward the definition. So moving toward the definition of the metric before going to the definition of the metric space. Because recalling when we have defined the topological space. So for the topological space, firstly we have to know what is a topology on a set X. So that is why for defining a metric space, we have to know what is a metric on a certain set, let's say X. So if X be a non empty set and we have the set of real numbers are here and we have defined a function from X cross X to R that is if we pick a pair from this side then we will have a real valued number on the other side so we can also represent in this form this is X and this is R so there are pairs here and we will it map on a single value here and it will here and so on this is a function so this is the rough sketch of the function from x cross x to r so this function f is said to be a metric on the set x if it has the following properties the very first property is that for any pair x y belongs to that x the function x y must be greater than or equal to zero and if the function is equal to zero then this thing implies that x is equal to y the second property that it has is for every pair x y belongs to the set x function x y has the same value as y x it has a symmetry in it so the second property is about symmetry of the function the first property is about the positivity and if the function has a zero value then all for all x and y we can say that these two values are equal and the third property is if we take three elements from the set x, x, y, and z. So the value of x and y of the function when applied to it must be less than x, z plus f of z, y. So this is a triangular inequality of the function. By looking at the properties of the function f that is defined from x cross x to r this function has similarity with the distance function that distance can never be zero if the distance is zero we then we can say that the point is same initial of the final point is same and distance is always positive the distance has a symmetry property in it and also triangular inequality so in metric we not only define function or represent it with f but with a special representation we can represent the metric function with a special letter d but just because that it has a similarity with the distance function so we can replace all of the f here and here with the letter d just to represent that it is a metric function or it is a metric on a set x to r so if a function has these three properties then a function is said to be a metric on a set x and together x and d the function that is defined the metric we can say that x and d is said to be a metric space as we did in topological space where x and tau is a topological space where tau is a topology on x so here x and d is a metric space where d is a metric on x 
and D has the following properties. So this is for now. If you're looking for more such videos, then you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.